One performance-related thing that all sites have to take into consideration, regardless of the content management system, is image size. Even if the images are resized with CSS, large images can add massive amounts of information to any given web page. Even if the browser caches these images after the first load, which it normally does, it can be a pain if the first time they load it, they aren't sized properly. Thankfully, Drupal has some really good tools to help us manage this. For images placed in fields or views or any systematically placed position on a website, it's best to use image styles whenever possible. If we go to configuration, then in the media section, click on image styles, we see the three image styles that Drupal comes with out of the box, large, medium, and thumbnail, and these are the dimensions and pixels listed next to them. We can configure which, which image style a certain content type uses for a certain field in our content types configuration. So if we go to structure and content types, let's pull up article since that's what we're using primarily in this tutorial. Let's look at manage display. We see that the article content type for the image field is using the large image style. 480 by 480. We can change this if we want by clicking on the gear icon. And here we have all of the image styles, or we can choose not to use one and just use the original image if we want to. The cool thing about using the cool thing about using image styles is that when you use them, Drupal automatically generates a new version of the image exactly at the size you specify. This is as opposed to using CSS, which would load a full-sized image and then just resize it on the fly. So let's take a look at how this works exactly. We'll create a new piece of content. Let's go to content, add content, article. And we'll give this another pretty easy name like we'll go with the fastest cars in Europe. And I'm just going to grab some dummy text once again just to have something for the body. And for the image I'm going to find a pretty large image. If I preview this one, I can see this is fairly large. I'm going to upload that one, give it some sort of alt text, save and publish. Now we see this has been resized to 480. And notice it's not exactly 480 by 480. We'll talk about that in a minute. It's gotten it as close to 480 by 480 as it can without stretching or distorting or cropping the image. So we have this smaller image now, but how do we know that it's not just CSS making it smaller and it's actually a new image that itself is smaller? Well, if we right click on it, we can open the image in a new tab and look at it. And this is indeed the full sized image, which is, if I pull it up again, much smaller than the original image that it came from. Now let's play around with creating a new image style. We'll go to uh, configuration, image styles. Let's add an image style. Let's create a tall image style. Now notice down under effects, this is where we're going to tell Drupal how to resize the image. We have a number of options. Very rarely do you want to just use resize. Resize will resize it to the exact dimensions you give and will stretch it however much it needs to and distort it however much it needs to to get it to that size. You don't often want to use this. A lot of the times it's nice to use scale. Scale is what the default image styles use and once again what this does is it gets it as close to the desired dimensions as it can without distorting the image in any way. If we go and open up the home page in a new tab real quick. If you look closely, you can tell that this image is slightly taller than this one. That's because these are using scale and what it does is it gets one dimension to the maximum value of that dimension and then it scales the other side appropriately. So this is probably medium, which is 220 pixels wide. Once it gets one thing that small, if the other is larger, in this case, the width would have been larger once the height got to 220. It keeps scaling the whole thing until both dimensions are within the dimensions that you specify. If you do need something 
to be exact specific dimensions, it's best to scale and crop as opposed to resize. Let's take a look at that just to see how it works. Let's add this, just keeping in line with the tall title that we gave this one, 150 pixels wide and 300 tall. This is what the image is gonna look like as compared to the original image. You can also give it a sequence of things to do. So we could tell it to scale and crop and then resize some other way or, or rotate it even or desaturate. We have a few options to play with, but we're just gonna stick with this. Let's click update the style. So keep in mind, this is going to pretty drastically alter the image. So when you are uploading images to a style like this, you wanna make sure they're at least the, the original image is somewhat the correct shape. Otherwise, you're gonna get a very oddly cropped image. Drupal will do it correctly. It'll be the exact right size. It won't be stretched, it'll be cropped, but you're gonna be missing a lot of your image that you probably weren't originally imagining would be missing from the final display. So let's take a look at this real quick. We'll go back to, let's just go straight to structure and content types. Article, we will manage the display here. Click on this gear icon next to image. And we're going to choose our new image style, tall. Update that. Scroll down and click save. Another nice thing about this is you can change this anytime you want to without having to re-upload images or go in and play around with your style sheet. Let's go back to the site. If we look at the home page, they won't be resized because this is a view. We would have to change the image style for the view specifically, which you can do independently of the content type. But if we view the actual node itself, we see that it's now going to be using the tall image style that we just created. And again, the performance benefit here is that we're only loading exactly the information that we need on the site. We're not loading a larger image and resizing it in any way. Drupal has actually created a new image for us. So it's loading only the information that's necessary and nothing more.